Hello friends, let's learn how to use get text activity in UiPath. While I am using get text activity, are you aware how what are this you know what are this used for? For example, wait for ready, interactive complete. If not, this is the video for you. Myself Rakesh from UiPath Expo Hub channel. In this channel, we have got almost all the learning videos for you, which are easily understood uh, by the beginners by the learners or in case you want to learn in advance even the advanced topics has been covered on our channel all you have to do is go to the playlist pick your selected topic your interested topic and start learning about it okay thank you very much with that let's get started now drag and drop the get text activity so once the activity is there, let's slightly understand what are this. The first option, which is continue on error. This means if I am having multiple activities after this, right? And if there is an error, let's say you are indicating a browser window where it has to pull the text or it has to get the text or extract the text. In case that the browser page is not available, it is going to throw an error. In such cases, in case you want to continue, all you have to do is click on checkbox. So it will continue with error, right? So even though there is an error, it will, it is going to continue. So this is quite well understood. All right. Now let's understand uh, display name is quite simple. Uh, let's say uh, selector, right? Selector is nothing but once I indicate the screen, whatever I am going to select from where it should extract the text, that selectors script will be written automatically over here you don't have to do it anything manually what is more important important is to understand wait for ready okay so wait for ready there are three different options none interactive and complete so let me tell you none means let's say i want to extract the text let's say i have a portal and i want to extract this specific text here okay now what happens when you are opening the browser it might take certain amount of time to load the entire page right for example if i refresh it it may not immediately um, you can see it is taking a little bit of time to load the page right so you see you can you can see it is still spin so this milliseconds right so what happens if i select none here so what what exactly it does it does not wait for all the ui elements so there are so many ui elements right there's so many things inside this page it does not wait for all the ui elements to load except the target ui element so it will just wait for this once it comes it will capture the data for you okay now the other one is let's say interactive and complete both of this are of the same nature interactive means your web page is interactive let's say if i click on this it is going to pull the text below right something like this so if i click on this it should open up all the text here so these are the interactive means if i'm clicking on something it is opening some data on the portal in such cases you have to go ahead and interactive why because if i'm not selecting interactive if this particular section has not been loaded and your ui path robot is coming and clicking here it may not show the text right interactive so you have to wait for the page to become interactive or you have to wait for the page to become completely loaded so it should wait for all the ui element to load then it should work okay for all this purpose we have to use this and time out of how much time you want to wait for it to um, before it could so time out millisecond is specify the amount of time to wait for the activity to run before an error thrown before any error occurs so this is a wait time so generally we will not be using it so this is the main one and the last one is the output which is very important right so if they ask you what is the data type of the output variable so what is the data type because get text you can get text from a portal you can get text from an application you can get text from so many different areas right so it cannot be a specific kind of data type it cannot be integer it cannot be text it has to be generic type so remember this output is of generic type so let's do it practically and learn it okay so that um, to learn it practically i am using a web portal microsoft.com you can use any web portal and let's try to extract this particular data okay so for that i am going to click on indicate on screen and i'm going to highlight this specific area so ensure when you are highlighting this is getting completely highlighted so these are the ui element 
this is another ui element this is another ui element okay you can see it is automatically highlighting so allow it to automatically highlight that area now once it highlights just click on it and it's going to save it automatically for you so once this is done you can see the selector has been automatically fed you don't have to manually do anything it will automatically do the job for you now the next thing i have to do is i have to once it extract the text it should save it in a output so i'm going to use a variable which i've created or else you can do a control plus k and create a variable okay now on this i'm going to use a log message and i will say info and i will say output text done very simple so once this is done it is going to extract the text and write it in the output so let's do one thing let's quickly run it and see how it works so what i'm going to do i'm going to keep microsoft this particular page in the background and i'm going to come back to yapa studio and simply run it and wait for it to complete okay so let's see that all right so it has extracted the data let's see the output let me scroll up so you can see search faster and easier with google search type features so there are a lot of text which has come so let's see why there are a lot many text which has come i see only this much the reason being if you see below this there is something called more if i click on more there's an entire text right so all this data has been pulled in our output panel you can easily see that okay so this is how guys you'll be using um, the get text activity one thing people may not be aware is wait for ready what are this none interactive and complete if you have understood this this is a good point um, to learn thank you very much to continue with us in case you have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe please do like the videos that you're watching thank you very much you guys have a wonderful day